All right. <laughs> All right. My apologies. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. You see, the king can't make any moves at all. Yep. Uh -huh. No matter where it goes, oh, no matter where it moves, the king is trapped. And this is how Mr. McQueen lost the game. Hmm, I see. Well, Mr. McQueen, what do you have to say for yourself? Very good. It looks like you can follow chess pretty well, little girl. It's a chess playing spirit medium. However, I'm still disappointed. What? What? But, but I proved you lost. Really? I lost? How so? But look at the board again, don't you see? Ah, uh, yes. White did lose, didn't it? But, Miss Faye, when ev have I ever said I was playing as white? <laughs> Mr. McQueen? You mean you were... Yes. I was playing as black. No! Order! Order! Objection! No, there has to be proof. Can you prove you were playing as black? <laughs> Can you prove I wasn't? Even yeah, if there is nothing to prove I lost or won, you can't accuse me without concrete evidence. And that is how the game is played. when you need her! Oh, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I know what happened, though. I can do this. I'm afraid we really have come to the end. If the defense can't prove what color the witness was playing... They can't prove that he really did kill over a loss. What a pity. I acknowledge that you played a good game, Miss Faye. I couldn't ask for a better opponent. <laughs> I... I couldn't do it. I couldn't prove Mr. Dupin innocent. I... I knew it. I couldn't from the very beginning. I'm useless. OBJECTION! Nick? Maya, don't give in yet. We've come this far. You can't give up now. Remember what Mr. Gapain said to you? Mr. Gapain? I reckon I made the right choice by asking you to defend me. Never doubt yourself. If you do, it's all over. I wouldn't have asked you to keep defending me if I didn't think you could do it. Maya, I believe in you. Hmm. He believes in me. And as long as he does, you can't give up. Right now, you're a defense attorney. It may only be this once, but you have the responsibility to defend your client. <laughs> Mr. Gapain! I'll do my best! Uh-oh. Not again. Are you Wait. there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh okay, god! Okay, that was a that was a worry. We're just yeah. about finished. It's about over. Okay. I'll do my best. I promise not to let you down. You're right. But how can I prove that he lost? Um, I didn't think that far ahead. You ass. <laughs> you know that speech that you. Need 
feels kind of empty now. But all the same, you shouldn't give up so easily. Think, what has Mia taught us during these kinds of situations? <gasps> Think outside the box. Think outside the box. To see things from another angle. And that's our ticket. There must be some kind of evidence that can help us. Evidence that shows Mr. McQueen lost. Wait! Wait! Do you have something? I I think I do. It's a long shot, but I think I can prove it. I can prove you lost the game, Mr. McQueen. What? Impossible. Hmm. Very well. This court will allow one more chance for the defense to prove its case. This is pointless! You can't prove with evidence that this man lost! Objection! We'll see about that, Mr. Come over. What? Why you- That's enough! Now then, please show us the evidence that proves Mr. McQueen lost the chess game. The uh, painting. The painting? See, check. Check on it. Yep. Look! Very good, Miss- Take Miss that! Attorney. Oops! <laughs> I started this with the <laughs> Show off! <laughs> Take you. that! Take that! The, the painting? How does this prove your case? Your Honor, I'm sure if you look real hard, you can see Mr. McQueen lost! Hmm, well, it's a unique painting. Oh! Why? McQueen, and he has white pieces in front of him. What? Yeah. Impossible. No, That's impossible. You said it yourself, Mr. McQueen. You never saw the painting. And you said Mr. Dupain was painting you from the beginning. He, he must have come back with you and must have known. Objection! Nope. Didn't happen. When we got back to the park, he was arrested immediately. Mr. Grapane had no time to alter his painting based on a chess game. It's too bad you didn't see it, because this painting shows you playing as white. Proves that you were playing the losing color of the chess game. The, the, the great, the great. There's the breakdown. Finish! Monster kill. Rage! Brooklyn Rage! Yes. KO. Breakdown. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Yes. Very good. Very good. I'm so good at this. I lost. Again. Mr. McQueen? The first time, to Mr. Carver. And the second, to you, young lady. I have been utterly defeated. You win. Yes. Hmm. There is something that puzzles me. Oh, what now? If you choked Mr. Carver, he would have put up resistance, yes? I'd wager some pieces from the game would have fallen. If I was lucky, they would have. But I suppose I should blame myself for that not happening. What do you mean? As I strangled him, he started to put up resistance. At the moment, I remembered he had a broken leg. Uh -huh. So I applied pressure to it with my foot. In that state of pain, he could only sit there and be choked to death. I still tremble after what I did. I was wrong to get so upset over a loss. Hmm, I see. No amount of apologizing can undo what I've done. Miss Faye? Huh? 
I have truly seen the error of my ways, thanks to you. But I am afraid that I've seen it too late. Uh, yeah. If we ever meet again, I'll let you go first in a game of chess. Fare thee well. Very good. Nicely well take, done. Take your new defense attorney! <laughs> it looks like we've come to an end of yet another trial. Mr. Payne, how is Mr. McQueen doing? He's... calmer than me. <laughs> you do look paler than usual. What seems to be the matter? Are you feeling alright? I... I... I just lost to someone who hasn't even passed the bar exam! How do you think I feel? Well, I guess I wouldn't feel very chipper at all. I... I need an aspirin. Well, anyway, Miss Faye. Y yes I do believe that was one of the most stunning performances I have seen yet. It was just like another female lawyer who reminds me of you. Mia! What was her name? Uh, Miss Tia Faye? <laughs> um, okay? Well, enough of out of me. It's time to announce the verdict. This court finds the defendant, the defendant Mr. Fingerpain, not, not guilty. guilty. Court is adjourned. I did it! <laughs> Congrats! And now we finish off with this scene. Yay, more voice acting. Way to go, kid! Where's Mr. Wright? Sleeping again? <laughs> nah, what's in the judge's office gonna kill that like a preschooler? Poor kid. I guess this will learn him from sleeping in, though. I really wish I had a video camera to record his sniveling face. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Maya? Oh, nothing. Say, Mr. Capane. Can I ask you something? Shoot! Sure. What's on your mind? Well, it's just... You seemed to be on top of things when we were in court. You really knew what to do and helped me a lot when Nick wasn't here. I can't believe a regular old finger painting wouldn't know that much. So, you figured me out, eh? Huh? I think I have. Wait, what? Then let's see you prove it. What? What? You mean here? Now? Go on. If you figured out my secret identity, then you won't mind telling me what you know. Secret identity, huh? Alright, now think about this. He seemed to know Winston. He seemed to know how things went down in court. Why is that? Maybe it has something to do with who Mr. Pepin was before. No! Wait, he can't be Carver! What? No. No, oh. no, no. This has nothing to do with Carver. Carver's dead. Okay? okay. Why did he know so much about law? <gasps> he was an attorney, wasn't he? His badge. It belonged to my sister. I think you used to wear one long, one long ago too. An attorney badge. Attorney badge. You were a defense lawyer, right? Just like your sister, Mia. No way! Huh? Hello. You there? Oh crap. Okay. Okay, we're, are we back? Okay. We're just about finished, that's it. Okay. Huh? You knew sis? I sure did. She was one of the greatest lawyers Marvin and I ever taught. What? Oh, really? Oh my god! But you're not a lawyer anymore, why? When your sister passed, I just couldn't handle the courts anymore. What? 
Knowing that she'd never be around again, I decided to call it quits. Mia was a gentle, strong soul, a person that I admired. Since she died, I've always found myself in the dumps. I lost a great friend. Then, a few days ago, I met you, her sister. Me? Mia would always talk about you. She would go on about you. Really? I was just happy to see you doing so well, even after she had died. And it looks like you've been able to do her proud. Even if it's just this once. Well, I better mosey. I have an appointment to keep with another friend. Tell Mr. Wright I said goodbye. And not to sleep in anymore. Uh, I will, Mr. Goodpain. I'll see you around. Dry your eyes, Buckarina. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Yeah, I can't wait. So long, Maya. Oh my god! Maya, you're just like your sister Mia. I wanted you to handle this trial so you could see things the way she did. I know you won't be a lawyer like she was. You're destined for other things. I just wanted you to be able to help those in need, like she used to. I'm sure you and Mr. Wright will carry on that great spirit like Mia did. And make her prouder than she already is. Oh. My. God. <laughs> That's quite the shocker, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like he left. Nick! You did great, Maya. I'm proud of you. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, maybe. Huh? Can we change the name of op the offices back to Bay and Cola offices? Uh, sure, sure. Uh, let me know when you take on veteran prosecutors and outsmart assassins. Then we can think about it. I'm just kidding, really. I couldn't have handled the rest without your help anyway. Help? I'm afraid to ask, but... Uh, Maya, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? Well, you know how you can summon Mia, right? On account you are a spirit medium. Yeah? Well, why didn't you call her to help you with the trial today? <laughs> oh, come on, don't cut out now! Well... Wait! You mean I could have done that? Um, I, I mean, if it was me, I... Well, y you see, wait, you're the spirit medium. Why didn't you think of it? I was so nervous being put on the spot, I couldn't think straight. Well, that's not my fault. Yes, it is. You were late. Ow, ow, ow. That hurts. After that, we were asked to leave for making such a racket. I guess I deserved it, though. And Maya deserved the praise I would be forced to give her. She also made me promise not to make her defend in court again, or I'd get it. The next trial, which wasn't too far away, would be run by me, Phoenix Wright. And that is the end of Checkmate and Turnabout, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, crazy court case. And I hope you enjoyed uh, Shinju here being Maya for us. I think you did pretty good. Thank you. Make sure you give your thoughts on this, guys. We want another case done. Yes. I do. Please, please. Um, I encourage any feedback. Give us some constructive criticism on this. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if, it's, if it's that good enough, we may consider doing another one. Who knows? But with that, guys, um, we've gone on long enough, so I'm going to be signing out for now. This is Arclay84. Thank you for watching. And this is Shinju. And, of course, we can't forget Shinju. <laughs> so, uh, see you next time in another Let's Play, I guess. Uh, peace out, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Woo!